Okay, so I sell my used you-know-whats online, and today's client requested that I wear them all the way up until I mail them off, which was today, obviously. So here I am at the post office. I'm going to take them off and package them up and send them their way. Give me just a second. Okay, we're back. So they're off, and they're going in the package for the customer, and I'm going to be walking into the post office. Like, I didn't just take my, you know what, uh, off and put it in a package and I'm going to be mailing it to somebody. So, yeah. Life is dope. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. I thought too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Is the Democrat Party the party for women? Do they believe all women? We have already known what happened with um, E.G. King Carroll. Yes, with her crazy ass. We got that already. But do y'all remember who is Tara Reid is? Anybody? Anybody out there who know who Tara Reid is? No? Well, Tara Reid is a Democrat. And about four years ago, three or four years ago or so, she went to Congress and she testified against Joe Biden. I was young. I was in my 20s and he was 53 at the time. He was very at the kind of near the height of his power as a senator at that time. And um, he knew what he could get away with and and sort of just had this um, uh, like image that he could get away with whatever he wanted. As you know, I, I'm a lifelong Democrat. I've said that many times publicly. I'm not voting for Donald Trump. Um, I won't be voting Republican. OK, now Joe Biden. Has been threatening her, intimidating her and chased her out of the country. She is now in Russia with <laughs> asylum because she was getting harassed by the same Democrat Party that believes all women, except Tara Reid. No, I think that's a hypocritical statement um, because that's not been my experience. And he has said that in public, but then what's been happening is with social media um, and in the media, I've been pretty attacked and smeared. And some of his campaign supporters and surrogates have been the ones doing the attacks. I wonder why. Terry Reid has been saying this since 1993. She, she made a case in 1993. Unlike E. Jean Carroll, she have told other people about this. E. Jean Carroll don't have no witnesses. E. Jean Carroll don't know the date that when it happened, so-called happened. But uh, Tara Reid has dates. She told her mom. She told her neighbors. She told her brother. She has other people that she could call on and corroborate her story. E.G. King don't have nothing. E.G. King says she has a dress, but nobody, no expert witness can test the dress out to see if there's any DNA on there. It was all he says, she says. And we see what happened with Trump. Tara Reid worked for Biden. And she quit because of what Biden allegedly did to her. So we have two tiers of justice. Again, we see what happens when a Democrat woman make claims about a Democrat politician. Sometimes they are deleted. Or sometimes they've been chased out the country. Now, Tara Reid's mom even went on Larry King Live 
and said this years ago. Let's take a listen. San Luis Obispo, California. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, I'm wondering what um, uh, a, a staffer uh, would do, do besides go to the press in Washington. My daughter has just left there uh, after working for a prominent senator and could not get through with her problems at all. And the only thing she could have done was go to the press, and she chose not to do it out of respect for him. Or she had a story to tell, but out of respect for the person she worked for, she didn't tell it. That's true. Okay, now, is she lying? Again, Terry Reed told people about this situation between her and her boss, Joe Biden. And luckily, nothing's happened to Joe Biden. They have ordered Trump to pay $83 million, and Terry Reed has been asking for $10 million, and they chased her out of the country. It shattered my life and changed the trajectory of my whole career in life. And I lost my job after I complained and I was fired. Biden had the FBI support. Biden had FBI chase this girl out of the country. If you see anything like that for Trump. And again, Tara Reid is a Democrat. Unlike E. Jean Carroll, a Democrat versus the Republican Trump. What? Now, if they bring this to trial, are they going to bring this to a state like Texas or Florida with a Republican judge, with Republican jury, just like they did Trump? Nah, nah, they ain't gonna do that. Nah, they ain't gonna do that because they're gonna say it's bias. Is Rachel Mad Cow and the hens on the view, are they, what they saying about Tara Reid now? Is she still lying? Believe all women, right? Except Tara Reid because she's going against crazy Biden over here. Nobody wanna say nothing. Now, we're supposed to believe all women, but Paula Jones, Bill Clinton, no. the women did not believe, the feminists did not believe, they squashed it. Terry Reed, Biden, no. the feminists don't believe it, they squash it. But they believe E. Jean Carroll with no proof, yes. with no DNA, she don't remember the time, she don't remember the date, she didn't tell nobody. And they all believe E. Jean Carroll crazy ass. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this is the state we in. This is the state we in. But hey, the hell do I know? I'm just a driver. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. All you knuckleheads, get off my lawn.